What's up guys, West Coast Picks here, and today I'm um, doing a little bit of odds and ends. This is um, not going to be picking on this video, I'm going to be talking about my naughty bucket and my um, pick displays. So, um, a lot of you might know that I've been collecting uh, lock picks from pick makers and uh, framing them up, putting them on display. Um, but, it's not new to me, this uh, putting picks on display. Uh, a lot of you might remember my pocket pick display. Um, I actually, over a year ago, uh, when I first started making, actually, when I finished off version 3 that same weekend, uh, I made this display. So this display is probably well over a year old now. And um, that is where I got the idea. Um, you know, ever since I had this one display, I knew I wanted to display other pick makers picks. And I even said as much back then. So, um, it's not a new idea for me. Um, I came up with this idea a long, long time ago. <laughs> so, now I have some uh, other pick makers on display uh, hanging up. These are all um, hanging on the wall in my lock lab here. Let's see if I can... There we go. So, this one is... Um, is big, so it's hard to fit in the frame. We have uh, Potty 314 on the top. We have a Trek Master in the middle. And um, actually, next time I trade with Trek Master, I'm going to see if he can make me a couple of his uh, newer picks, because I'd like to get a couple of them on display. And uh, this one was from Ryan McCreary. So, pretty awesome. That's the uh, first display. And then the second display I have is uh, Bobby Keys up at the top there. You can see there's a bunch of uh, Bobby Keys hooks. Very nice picks worthy of display. We have a Dairy Whip and then a very beautiful Type Knee. Um, I have used each one of these at least once, um, but I don't want to use them enough to uh, scratch them up and put wear on them. These are supposed to be for display. So, uh, type he's actually got a little bit of, um, abalone in there on the, uh, handle, which is very, very nice looking. And so, yeah, that's the Bobby Keys Dairy Whip and type -E. So that's what I have on display for picks so far, guys. Um, if, uh, anybody wants to send me their, their homemade picks, I will definitely be putting them on display. A lot of fun. Um, now for the naughty bucket. Uh, my naughty bucket doesn't have any challenge locks in it. Um, I go through challenge locks uh, the fastest because I know people want to see them and I spend more time on, on picking challenge locks. Uh, a lot of these I haven't even tried picking, uh, but they are in the naughty bucket by default. <laughs> so um, let's go over the two that actually aren't in the naughty bucket first. Uh, the two that aren't in the naughty bucket is this... Uh, Multi-lock MT5 and this Nabob. I've picked both of those. Uh, I've picked them on camera, so those are not in the naughty bucket. Uh, these other four are in the naughty bucket, though. We have a Schlag Primus, which is a beautiful, beautiful new cylinder, which I've tried only picking once or twice. Um, I don't want to, you know, mark it all up and everything like that. So I'm probably gonna have to find a crappier kick version or something like that to practice on. Um, because I don't want to mar this thing up. It is uh, very beautiful and left on display. Uh, this Medico, I have tried a few times and uh, gotten nowhere with it. Um, it is only a five pin, and I've opened other Medicos, but this one is resisting my talents for some reason. <laughs> um, and I have other Medicos around here that I can't open as well. Uh, this is an Asa Twin, and I have tried picking this once or twice, but um, because it's in such good condition, I don't like uh, try picking this one. So I have other ones around here I've tried picking, and uh, also can't get into them. So <laughs> and I'm sure the bidding doesn't help on both the sidebar and the uh, lock itself. So that is the uh, Asa Twin. And then we have a Scorpion. Um, I've had this for, I uh, can't remember, a couple months now. Locksmith gave it to me. No key. I actually had two. I gave one to Zombie Lock. Uh, I don't think he's got into his yet either. But, um, yeah, this is a lot like an Asset Twin. Except for a lot more restricted keyway. 
and you have your finger pins down at the bottom there, just like an asset twin. Uh, so I haven't gotten to that one yet either. And uh, have tried picking it a couple times, but got nowhere with it. Um, the Sergeant Kiso, I actually have two of these. This was a, this one was sent to me by Randy Perkins uh, a while ago. And I have another one here from Tin Man 13. Both of them don't have keys. Um, and both of them are resisting my efforts. <laughs> so I haven't spent a lot of time in them, but I have tried a few times on both of them and gotten nowhere. Um, and these next ones I haven't tried picking at all because I have to modify tools for them. This is an Abloy cabinet lock. It's actual uh, Abloy. You can see by the key. And the way these work is they sit in a uh, sliding display door and uh, the pin goes in so you can't slide the door and then you put your key in, turn it, pin goes out, now you can slide the door open. Uh, these are key to like, so I got two of them. And I've been looking for a locksmith that can actually cut a uh, copy for me because I'd like to send one out to the community. I do have two of them and they're key to like. So if I could uh, find someone to copy them for me, I would be able to send them out to the community. But so far, no luck. Uh, they all do ProTech and stuff now. These older uh, abloys are hard to find someone to cut them. And this is also a uh, disc detainer style cam lock. Um, abloy style. I don't think it's an abloy. It doesn't have a name on it, but um, it's a lot like an abloy. And uh, again, I would have to modify a tool to even start picking on this thing. And um, I do have the tool. I just haven't modified it yet. I don't have a lot of time to spend on locks in my naughty bucket either, which is a big thing. I have a, a ton of other locks to pick. So this is a uh, Protect 2 by Abloy. Um, no key, obviously, in the naughty bucket because it's a Protect. And uh, will probably remain in the naughty bucket till I die. Um, again, would have to modify a tool to even try picking it. So, uh, I haven't even tried yet, but, uh, that is the Abloy. And last but not least is, uh, these crazy Uoma smiley locks. This one I've, uh, drilled the retaining pin out of and I use a set screw down on the table here to, uh, keep the core in when it's being stored away. But the way these work is uh, there's a couple ball bearings in the top there that hold the shackle closed. And then you have your main cylinder here. This whole thing turns, and you have two sidebars here. Uh, it's a dual sidebar lock with uh, eight different, I guess you would call them pins. They're more like wafers. We'll take one of the sidebars out here and take a look. You can see, focus in, how um, you have... You can see the beginning of one of the gates there on number two, but it's not lined up so the bar wouldn't fall in. Uh, when you put the key in, the gates actually all line up, and now the sidebar will drop in. So there's one of those on either side. There's uh, four pins on either side, making a total of eight, and then two sidebars. So not at all an easy lock to pick. Um, I have tried probably at least a dozen times to pick one of these locks. Um, I have a few of them around here and have not gotten anywhere with it. So that is the uh, UO Ma. That is uh, about it for my naughty bucket, guys. I mean, I do have more medicals around here I can't get into. I do have a couple more acid twins around here I can't get into. Um, I do have a couple more of the UO Ma's around here I can't get into. But other than that, uh, that's it for the naughty bucket. And uh, that was it for my pick display. Uh, yeah, not not much else to uh, to go on about the um, amount of challenge locks I have building up around here. Uh, both ones from other people and ones that I've made. It's astronomical. So I'm actually looking for trades. Um, anybody wants to trade? I got a bunch of challenge locks, and uh, yeah, that'll that'll be fun too. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for taking a trip through my naughty bucket with me and uh, taking a look at my on display. Later guys.